Back in the book segment tonight, rolling with Corolla. Let's get right to our pal Adam, who joins us now from Los Angeles. All right, Corolla, you're cruising. I, I'm sorry. You're causing, I'm sure you're cruising as well, but you're causing trouble again. Here's what you said about gay marriage on your podcast two weeks ago. Here's what'll happen it'll be legal, it'll be legalized, hopefully. And then you think we'll be done with it. And then they'll say, we want to get married at the Crystal Cathedral. Uh. And the guys at the Crystal Cathedral go, no, we don't agree with it. And according to our faith, this is your man doesn't lie down with another man. And then there's going to be a march <laughs> and then there's going to be a thing. And then it's going to the Supreme Court again. That much I know. So Corolla, based on our report earlier about George Washington University, you're a prophet. It's not going to stop you. with uh, the legitimacy, if it comes, of gay marriage. Well, look, people want to argue, and that's the society that we've created. I'll, I'll ask you this. Uh, Ten years ago, if I would have asked you, we're going to elect our first black president, do you think you would have said, well, then there'll be more arguing about race or less arguing about race? We have done ten times more arguing about race since we've had a black president. So, obviously, that didn't change that topic, and I don't think giving gay people the right to be married is going to ratchet down the arguing. Uh, that being said, I love gay people. There should be more gay people. <laughs> Our society would be better if we had a higher right, wait, percentage wait, of gay wait, people. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> there should there be more be. gay people. Okay. No, wh yes. Why we should subsidize them. We can subsidize them. Why, why, well, why should they... there be more gay people? Okay, I live in Los Angeles. Yeah. There's a gay part of town. It's on Santa Monica Boulevard. And speaking of cruising, I'll be there later on tonight. Now, Santa Monica Boulevard and Western Boulevard is basically looks like Beirut. And then when you go a couple miles to the south and you get to the gay part of Santa Monica Boulevard, it looks like eh, Shangri-La meets Seattle. Okay, no so it's, it's, it's more on the of ground. A, it's beautiful. I got it. All right, so there, there's um, in a predominantly gay neighborhoods, there's order and, and law-abiding people, and, and they have a minimum of chaos. That's where you're coming from. Okay, I can't how many, with that. How many... I, there, how many gay guys are in prison? I mean, not or enter gay. I know once you get I, I there, sometimes I don't know if we have any reliable around. statistics on it, but I assume that most gay people are law-abiding, just like heterosexuals are law-abiding. Okay. Oh, they don't have a bunch of kids that are crapping up the system. Yeah, you can't blame the uh, youth of America, although the adoption now you can, but whatever. Um, bottom line on this is that homosexual Americans want respect, and that's what it's all about. And that's why you're right, the debate's never going to end. All right, let's go into the airlines, which are not getting you any respect. You say bottom line, Bill. That was funny. You're welcome. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> airlines not getting any respect because... You know, it's a cut rate operation. You pay a hundred bucks to fly to Florida. You're not going to get anything. You want a pillow? It's going to be five bucks. So what's the beef? Uh, listen, uh, I know the complaining has gone through the roof. It's not the complaining that's gone up. It's the entitlement that we all have. You know how many flights I've been on recently where people have brought their dogs on the plane? People comfort are now dogs. flying with their dogs. They're comfort, comfort dogs. dogs. So there, there is yes. one right there. It's a comfort yeah, dog. They, they have anxiety. Right. There's a Chili's down in the airport that you can have a nice uh, shot of Cuervo Gold at, and that's <laughs> how you get rid See, of but flying that's, anxiety. That's your comfort, least. Corolla. Others want canine that's, comfort. Well, that's how this reporter takes care of his comfort yes. on an airplane. But listen, I, I fly first class half the time. Usually someone else pays for it. And half the time, the storage bin above my seat is filled. And the other half of the time, everyone is barging in from coach and farting up my first class uh, lav. And all I'm saying is this. It's a little microcosm of what our world has become. Why should you get to sit up there in first class? Why? Because I paid more, Yeah, bitch. but you, can, you it shouldn't up, be any classes. Pay more. Right. No, everybody should be subsidized to sit in first class. That's what sure. should happen. If you can't afford yes. the first class ticket, the government gives you the money, and then everybody could sit next to you, Corolla, and have a shot of whatever you're drinking. I mean, that's only fair. Last word. Mangria, but thank you. You're welcome. Look, uh... It's not that the airlines are getting worse. It's that people are getting worse. All right, Adam Carolla, everybody. Very pithy as usual. 